Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best L mount lenses in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these best L mount lenses you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality best L mount lenses according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Panasonic Lumix SPRO 1635M f/4. Instead of going for f/2.8 glory, Panasonic has settled on a more modest f/4 aperture rating for its first L-mount wide-angle zoom. As plus points include a relatively compact and lightweight build, and the standard of construction is very good, with plentiful weather seals and a robust yet high-precision feel. The high-grade optical path includes three spherical elements plus ED, extra low dispersion, and HRI, high refractive index elements. Image quality is excellent in all respects, from impressive sharpness and effective correction of color fringing and distortions, to great control over ghosting and flare. The high-speed and virtually silent autofocus system is equally useful for stills and video capture. Moving on to the next at number two with Panasonic Lumix S26 to f 3.5 5.6. Compared with most standard zoom lenses that have a minimum focal length of 24, this Panasonic lens gives a much wider maximum viewing angle of 94 rather than 84 degrees. The difference is clear to see, enabling you to get much more into the frame. Naturally, it loses out a bit for telephoto reach, but the overall zoom range feels full of creative potential. It also saves the need for carrying an additional ultra-wide angle prime or zoom lens and the chore of switching between them. The optical path incorporates 3D, extra low dispersion elements, and one UHR, ultra high refractive element, which combine to deliver highly impressive image quality. It's a compact and lightweight lens that goes large in performance and is very good value at the price. The number three position is held by Panasonic Lumix S24 F 1.8. Compact and lightweight at just 310. This Fast Prime is a great choice for shooting landscapes, architecture, street scenes, or anything demanding a fairly wide field of view. The lens has been designed to work equally well whether you're shooting stills or video. The latter benefits from smooth aperture changes, while the f 1.8 maximum and 9-bladed rounded diaphragm ensures excellent separation between your subject and its background. Dust and water-resistant construction gives this lens all-weather versatility and though it's not a cheap lens, the price does compare well with comparable lenses from other manufacturers. Next at number 4, we have Panasonic Lumix SPRO 24-7-TIM f 2.8. This pro-grade zoom has the preferred f 2.8 constant aperture rating favored by most enthusiasts and professional photographers, along with robust weather-resistant build quality. Panasonic's own series mirrorless cameras are notoriously chunky, and the lens follows suit. Weighing the best part of a kilogram, highlights include a fast and near-silent autofocus system with a push-pull focus ring for switching between autofocus and manual focus. Image quality is mostly impressive although corner sharpness could be better, especially towards the long end of the zoom range. Focus is nice and smooth even when stopping down a little, aided by an 11-blade aperture, while color fringing and distortions are effectively eliminated by in-camera corrections. However, the competing Sigma 24-7-TIM f 2.8 DG DN art lens is every bit as good and only cost half the price. The number 5 position is held by Panasonic Lumix S24-105 m f 4 Macro OIS. Panasonic invites you to take a fresh new approach with this lens, although the zoom range and f 4 constant aperture rating will be familiar to users of Canon and Sigma 24-105 m lenses. Smaller, Lighter and little more than half the price of Panasonic's 24-7-TIM f 2.8 lens, this one lacks PRO credentials but is robustly built nevertheless, with a dust and splash-resistant construction. It's not short on quality glass either, with two spherical ED elements, a further two spherical and two ED elements, plus a UED ultra-extra-low dispersion element. The built-in optical stabilizer works in conjunction with Panasonic S-Series camera's IBIS to give as much as a six-stop benefit. 
The linear stepping motor autofocus system is fast and virtually silent, while the minimum focus distance of 0.3 meters enables powerful 0.5x macro magnification. The number 6 position is dominated by Panasonic Lumix SPRO 50MF-1.4. If you thought that compact system cameras were relatively small and lightweight, Panasonic's S-series bodies will make you think again. And this lens is frankly enormous for a 50mm prime, weighing in at almost a kilogram. Even so, handling is refined with tactile aperture and focus rings, the latter having Panasonic's usual push-pull mechanism for swapping between autofocus and manual focus. Autofocus itself is super fast and virtually silent, powered by dual linear and stepping motors. The optical path includes two spherical elements and three extra low dispersion elements, along with a particularly well-rounded 11-blade diaphragm. Image quality is simply spectacular in all respects. Even so, this hefty lens comes with a similarly weighty price tag. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Panasonic Lumix S50 F-1.8. This is the second 50 Prime that Panasonic has released for its L-mount cameras. But while the first above was a heavy and bulky F-1.4 offering, this F-1.8 lens is less than one-third the weight at just 300 edge, and it's significantly more compact. You still get a tasty 9-element optical stack including three spherical elements, one extra low dispersion element, and an ultra-high refractive lens. As with Panasonic's other recent F-1.8 L-mount primes, this 15 features a dust, splash, and freeze-resistant design for all weather usage, while a 9-blade rounded diaphragm promises smooth bulk into focused areas. The number 8 position is held by Panasonic Lumix SPRO 7200F-2.8 OIS. Panasonic's range topping 7200 zoom is about 50% heavier and 50% pricier than its excellent F-4 stablemate, as well as being an F-stop faster. The F-2.8 lens gains switchable static and panning optical stabilization modes and a set of three customizable function buttons, typically used for F-hold. As usual for Panasonic PRO lenses, this one is Leica certified and has a tough splash slash dustproof construction. It comes complete with a removable tripod mounting collar, which is an Arca Swiss compatible foot. Autofocus is rapid and virtually silent, and the absence of focus breathing is a bonus for video capture. Image quality is very good overall, with smooth bokeh and entirely negligible distortions or color fringing. In our tests, however, the lens didn't prove quite as sharp as the less expensive F-4 zoom. Next at number 9 we have Panasonic Lumix SPRO 7200 F-4 OIS. This telephoto zoom weighs in at just under a kilogram and makes for well-balanced shooting with Panasonic S-series cameras. The combination is also perfectly balanced on a monopod or tripod if you use the removable tripod mounting ring that's supplied with the lens. The high-tech optical path delivers sumptuous image quality, and the constant F-4 aperture rating enables a fairly tight depth of field. While the quality of bokeh is nice and smooth, autofocus is super fast, and the built-in optical image stabilizer works in conjunction with the 5-axis sensor shift stabilizers of S-series bodies to deliver up to 6-stop performance. It's quite pricey for a 7200 f 4 zoom, but you definitely get what you pay for. And it's only about two-thirds the weight of Panasonic's pricier 7200 f 2.8 zoom. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Panasonic Lumix s 85 mf 1.8. Any interchangeable lens camera system needs a decent portrait prime in its ranks, and Panasonic's Lumix s 85 mf phone.8 makes a strong case for itself. While its f 1.8 maximum aperture won't get your backgrounds quite as blurred as an f 1.4 or faster optic, the slightly smaller aperture helps keep the lens itself refreshingly small for a portrait lens at just 73.6 long and 355 in weight. You'll also get a better in focus at rate shooting at f 1.8 than f 1.4 or f 1.2. The dust and splash resistant design means you needn't worry when shooting in inclement weather. While smooth aperture changes are good news for smooth transitions in video, that's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.